Hey guys, this is a recap of lesson number one from our worship guitar class that we started on Sunday night. Just wanted to go over a few things because we had some people that wanted to be a part of this class and missed the very first one. Don't want to let anybody get behind. So, let's go over some things that are in the notes. We're going to meet Sundays at 6 p.m. We'll avoid major holidays like Memorial Day weekend. We might take a couple weeks off in the summer just to let everybody have some family to vacation time, whatever. But for the most part, we'll meet every Sunday at 6 p.m. You can expect to be here for an hour to an hour and a half, depending. We are considering uh, multiplying the class out because we've had so much interest. So we're talking about doing a 4.30 class and a 6 o'clock class. That will give those of us that are teaching more time to invest in people individually. So that's an option. What will you need for the class? You will need an improved instrument. By that, you need an instrument that I have put my eyes and my hands on, made sure that it is going to be playable, that it's going to play in tune. You're going to have a hard time learning to play if you got bad equipment. Doesn't have to be anything great, doesn't have to be super expensive, but it does need to stay in tune and play in tune. And the string height needs to be to the point that it's not so uncomfortable that you just don't want to play it for very long. You may need a strap. It's up to you. Some people like to play standing up. I do. I do not like to play sitting down. Different strokes, different folks. Uh, picks. This is a Dunlop uh, 50 millimeter. You can go to any music store in the area and ask for a Dunlop Tortex pick. I like them because they're very, very flexible, unlike some of the other picks that you will see that are what they call celluloid. They'll, uh, they look great. They sound wonderful, especially on electric guitar, but they tend to be a little brittle and they break. Never broken one of these Dunlops. So they're great picks. Um, you'll need a tuner. Great way to do that is through a smartphone app if you want to be really inexpensive. There are also some relatively inexpensive electronic tuners if you have questions about that, get with me. And uh, metronome. Later on in the class today, we're going to be playing some exercises for you to play along with. And just gonna use a metronome mobile metronome app in my cell phone. It's free, won't cost you anything. Uh, you will need a binder notebook of some type. Don't care what you get. Each week I'm going to give you lesson notes. Ta -da! Three hole punch, ready to go. You'll need to hang on to those because you're going to need to review. You get about six or seven weeks into this and we're going to go back and hit some of those chords from weeks one and two your brain's going to have trouble reminding your fingers what to do. So keep everything in one place. And then you're also going to need a pencil or a pen just to jot down some notes. I'm real bad about filling the blank stuff. Forgive me, but I've learned that if you write it down, you remember it a whole lot better. Okay, lesson fees. $10 per lesson per family. Don't feel obligated. That money doesn't go to me. It doesn't go to the church. It goes to furthering your musical education. Uh, what we're going to do every week is we will have envelopes in the back when you come through the door. We ask that you sign your name, or if you're a family, put everybody's name on that envelope. If you're paying the $10, put the $10 in there, seal the envelope. That's it. Drop it in the box. Do not let money dissuade you from coming to this class. I'm not going to look at these at all until the week before the very last class. I'm not even going to know. Don't let money be an obstacle to you learning to play. Be prepared, as we said, each week, about an hour to an hour and a half. Also be prepared, your fingers are going to hurt, fingertips. First couple weeks is not fun. I'm going to ask you to be aware that you will be required to do something that's very uncomfortable for a lot of people, and that is you're going to have to play in front of the class. Let me say that one more time just to make sure everybody understands. You will have to play in front of the class. Now, you will not be required to do it by yourself, although some people will. 
you will be required at least to play in pairs at the same time, hopefully the same thing, hopefully. Hopefully it'll sound like the same thing. So that'll take a little of the pressure off. But I have a different goal. I don't want to just give you enough information for you to sit around in your bedroom and play guitar. I want to get you right here into this. And you're not going to believe me when I tell you this, but in about 20 weeks' time, everybody in this class will have an opportunity to play with the band. Now, we won't have everybody playing on a Sunday morning or at our Saturday night services. For a lot of people, that's just way too much pressure. But we will get enough guys together to put together a band, and we will let you play with some people live. It's an interesting experience if you've never done it before. It will totally change the way you think about what you're doing with this instrument over the next couple of weeks. So you need to know an hour to an hour and a half every week. You will have to practice every day. Your fingers are going to hurt. You're going to have to play in front of people, namely everyone in this class, and you are going to have to play with the band. It's requirements. I'm not giving in on any of those. Okay, one more thing and we'll shut this one down and get ready for the next video. Here are the final two disclaimers. Number one, what I'm going to teach you in this course of this class is really designed to get you right here in this space, to be able to serve, to play in a worship band, to lead in worship. Different people take this to different levels. Some people, they go and write songs. Some people just strum along with things and use it for their enjoyment. I've had a couple of people come out of these classes and be incredibly competent worship leaders over time. Just really, really solid musicians. This class is designed to give you those foundational tools as a player. You're not going to be the next Joe Satriani in 20 weeks. That's not going to happen. If you don't know who that is, look it up. However, this will give you a solid foundation where you will be able to come into a church type setting and play acoustic guitar in a band and probably do a very solid job of it. Now, does that mean that we won't be teaching you anything else? Well, we're not going to be working on Garth Brooks' greatest hits, and we're not going to be playing Stairway to Heaven. That being said, I personally don't object if you use the tools that I give you to do any other type of music. There's no patent, there's no copyright on a chord. An E minor is an E minor is an E minor. After I give this to you, it's up to you what you do with it. I'm just letting you know that the design of the class is to get you from wherever you are, which most people that signed up have never played before or have very minimal experience, to the point in your musical development where you can experience what we experience up here on a Sunday morning to see if this is something that you may want to go further with. So, know that's where we're going to be. That's where our focus is. Also, I'm going to ask you to do something. You remember I told you your fingers are going to hurt. Your fingertips are going to hurt. Your wrist is going to hurt a little bit. Your neck's going to hurt a little bit from the first week of looking over a guitar. You're going to get done. Your shoulders are going to hurt. Oh, it's going to be miserable. At least I'm honest with you. It's going to take a little time. This is just like doing anything else. If you decided tomorrow that you wanted to play tennis... And you went out, and even if you stretched, but you weren't real athletic, kind of like myself. And you went out, batted a tennis ball around for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. You'd feel it in the morning. So you're going to be a little bit sore. What I'm asking you to do is commit. Commit yourself to five weeks. Before you quit, we're going to do five lessons, and then we're going to make up our mind. But until then... We're doing five lessons.